All right, so we got the Resident Evil games in chronological order. Let's go ahead the video. Resident right, so we got... Evil games have earned oh, wow. their crown as the king of survival horror. Capcom debuted its world of mutants and mercenaries in 1996 and has since grown Resident Evil into a multimedia franchise. Yes, that sir. Two dozen console games, six films, two recent Netflix series, novels, comics, and even stage plays. Over time, Capcom has created a grand Resident Evil. They have stage plays? With a core cast of recurring characters who will encounter the biohazard threats created by the evil Umbrella Corporation time and time again over the course of several decades that span across numerous games. There are 10 core Resident Evil games. Resident Evil 0 through 7, Village, and Code Veronica. However, yeah. the total number of Resident Evil console games, including spin offs and remakes, sits around 30. That number rises near Bro. 60 when accounting for mobile and pachinko games. For this chronological order, we're focusing on 12 Resident Evil games, all okay. the 10 core entries and the two Revelations spin offs. While many okay. others are considered canon, this is not an exhaustive chronology, but rather an approachable guide to entering and enjoying the world of Resident oh Evil. Oh my games. god. <laughs> Missing from this list are mobile and pachinko games, light okay. gun and Wii shooters. This includes Resident Evil Survivor, Bro said Wii shooters. 2, Dead Aim, Umbrella Chronicles, and Dark Side Chronicles, as well Bro, as imagine playing Resident Evil on the Wii. Access spin -offs that would be crazy. Evil Gaiden, Outbreak, Outbreak File Number 2, Mercenaries 3D, Operation Raccoon City, Resistance, Umbrella Corps, and Reverse. Bro. I just started getting into Resident Evil, like, really just not recently. I'll be real. I, I think since Resident Evil Village, I, that's when I really, really got into Resident Evil. I'll be real. Resident Evil Zero is the fifth game released in the series, but the first game to take place chronologically. It's set just before the events of the first Resident Evil, with Special Tactics huh. and Rescue Service, or STARS, medic Rebecca Chambers and former Marine Billy Cohen. While hmm. investigating a mysterious train crash, the pair discover that the locomotive is, in fact, full of zombies. Billy and Rebecca uncover valuable information related to that Albert, villains, Albert Wesker, and William Birkin, and we the also lunatic more about menace the himself, the Sinister Umbrella Corporation, and its deadly T virus. The game leads directly into the events of Resident Evil One, with Rebecca headed toward the mansion where she'll serve as a supporting character. Why is she standing Talking like that? What the hell of a night! Oh my God! Jill, run for that house. <laughs> Bro, look how gelled up their hair is. The first Resident Evil came to PlayStation in 1996, though for those coming to the franchise in 2023, Bro. no one to play the 2002 remake or its more recent HD remaster, as it improves gameplay and expands on the story. Resident Evil 1 picks up directly 1996? after the events of Resident Evil 0. You play as one of two stars agents, Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine, who come huh. to the Spencer Mansion while investigating a series of murders Fetch from me the their souls. of Raccoon City. They have the, the two dogs chasing them. encounter the murderous, mutated victims of the T-Virus and uncover key information about Umbrella and its biological experimentation. Chris and Jill in the events of the Spencer Mansion will set the stage for the entire series, introducing two of the series' recurring heroes, its main villains, Albert Wesker and Umbrella Albert. Corporation, and various cast members who will pop up throughout the Resident Evil timeline. Don't shoot! Get down! <laughs> Set two months after the events of Resident Evil 0 and 1, Resident Evil 2 introduces two new protagonists, rookie cop Leon Kennedy and Chris's sister, yes, sir. Claire Redfield, each with Leon. a connected yet distinct campaign. For Leon, it's his first day as a Raccoon City police officer, only for the city to become Ooh, overrun by his zombies. neck, fruit Claire juice Leon everywhere. For her brother, only to get wrapped up in the dark umbrella conspiracy. Resident Evil 2 also introduces Ada. the characters Ada Wong, Sherry Birkin, and the iconic Ooh. tyrant enemy. We learn more about William Birkin and his work on an even more threatening virus called the G-Virus, while Leon and Claire uncover more disturbing details about the clandestine work of Umbrella, as well as its ties to the Raccoon Police Department. I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now! Right, Resident Evil 3. Ah! Ooh! She said, let me grab my things. Kareem abdul Jabbar. with Resident Evil 3. None of that thing, Bobby Lashley. We recommend playing it after Resident Evil 2. The first part of Resident Evil 3 takes place before hey. the events of Resident Evil 2, but the second part takes place after. You could play halfway through 3, pause, play through 2, then return for the second half of 3. However, playing Resident Evil oh. 3 after 2 won't detract from the experience or your understanding of the story. What I have a fake. Fourth on this list, <laughs> I, I, I look like, like a straight John wig on him, 2. bro. You begin Resident Evil 3 as Jill Valentine, still coping with her experience from Resident Evil 1 and ready to leave Raccoon City behind for good. Resident Evil 3 ends the Raccoon City saga as the city ends up getting blown up at the end to try oh, and yep. contain the zombie outbreak. Get up out of here, yep. My name is Claire Redfield. 
We caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. Uh oh. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield. Resident Evil Code Veronica advances the timeline by a couple of months and sees Claire really? Redfield continue the search for her brother, Chris, that began in Resident Evil 2. Hey, she Claire running. Search takes her to an umbrella facility in France where she escapes captivity alongside an inmate, Steve Burnside, and the pair follow Umbrella's trail to the southernmost region of Earth, Antarctica. Chris Redfield, one of the protagonists from the original game, returns as a second playable character. These boys went to Antarctica? The finally reunite at the edge of the world. But the reunion includes another familiar face as well, Albert West. Albert! You are a long way from home, cowboy. Oh, uh, Resident Evil 4, Xbox. I guess that's a local's way uh -oh. of breaking the ice. Uh-oh. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? Resident Evil 4, <laughs> arguably the series' most beloved entry, puts players back in the shoes of Leon Kennedy six years after his escape from Raccoon City in Resident Evil 2. Leon, now this boy a jawline is crazy. States government travels to a rural village in Spain on a mission to rescue the president's kidnapped daughter. There, Leon encounters a cult experimenting with a mind-controlling parasite. Of course, this being a Resident Evil game, Albert Wesker is revealed to be the true puppet master. The menace. Unfolding in this quiet the heathen order, himself. This time aided by Leon's old friend, Ada Wong. It's been 94 minutes since Chris and Jessica dropped off the Tell radar. Tell us old friend. Now, we know each other really well. Me and Ada. Right here on this ship. Resident Evil Revelations is set between the events of Resident Evil 4 and 5. I don't know nothing about this one. I'll be real. Of Umbrella's bioweapon development. Who is that, Thor? Revelations introduces players to a new organization, the Bioterrorism Security Assessment Alliance, BSAA, which becomes a key agency in the next Look at it, bro. Resident Evil game. Look at Straight Jill Valentine Giga Chad, bro. Now BSAA agents with Jill serving as the game's primary protagonist. The duo head to the Mediterranean to combat the Jill T baby new variant of the T virus. Freeze! Tell some freeze. They already put the put the put the, put the whole before. thing in his mouth Chris like you. Part of the BSAA. Tell us some freeze. You supposed to shoot them. Shaba Alamar fly, to prevent bro? the black market sale of a bioweapon. The people of Kajuju, however, have already been infected with an enhanced version of a mind controlling parasite previously seen in Resident Evil. Look how they stuffed his mouth. Their mission is to stop the sale of a new bioweapon. Chris also embarks on the more personal mission of finding his long lost partner Jill Valentine. And spoiler alert, Albert West Albert is the, the primary villain of this game. The duh menace himself. Oh, they put the neck in her Evil neck. Revelations 2 is set between Resident Evil 5 and 6 and returns to Claire Redfield for the first time. I never played this one either, uh, either, bro. The game is I'll be real. Four episodes with each episode divided into two parts. A past sequence featuring Claire and Moira Burton, daughter of former Stars member Barry Burton, and a present timeline starring Barry himself, who is attempting to locate the two women. As uh -oh. if one Wesker wasn't enough, Revelations 2 also introduces a new member of the Wesker family, Albert's sister, Alex. Oh, this man, Albert's whole family is just evil. It's a good thing Finn's not around to see you this way. We look like Jack Swagger from WWE. Years after the events of Resident Evil 5 and brings back many of the game's former protagonists. It weaves together four campaigns starring boy Leon, Leon. Andy, Chris Redfield, Ada Wong, and a mercenary named Ada Wong. The SAA introduced in Revelations plays an important role in Resident Evil 6 as the quartet of protagonists work to squash the bioterrorist group Neo Umbrella and prevent the spread of yet another mutant creating virus, the C virus. In a surprise twist, the new Wesker member introduced in Resident Evil 6 is not the villain, but rather the protagonist, Jake Muller. That boy like Eminem. Y'all see? Son. He like Eminem, yo. He got to have his supper. <laughs> This is the one that I played. Oh I want it. I don't want to eat it. With Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, Capcom reinvented the franchise in several ways. For the first time, the series introduces a new protagonist in Ethan Winters, and most notably, it switches the series' long-running perspective from third person to first person. Despite all Which these is changes, a whole nother level, bro. Exists on the series' canonical timeline. The series, once again... It's a whole nother level, I promise y'all, bro. ...after the events of Resident Evil 6 to 2017 in rural Louisiana. This game was a whole nother level, I promise. Just because it was in first person. The, the Baker family. While ties to past Resident Evil hey. games are rather loose in this hey. game, many of the series staples are here clandestine human experimentation, bioweapons, and towards the end, a somewhat familiar face in Chris Redfield, who is looking a bit different this time around. Sir. Take him away. I said get your Resident Evil Village. Ethan, no. Hey! 
Resident Evil Village is a continuation. Yeah, bro, she got lit up like the Fourth of July, yo. Look, after the events look the way they seven. did her, bro. And village stand on their own oh my God! Games. First scene Still, of the day. Village oh. includes a few more ties to the series. She's playing with my wood. She a lumberjack. Whoa, 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 whoa! What did they? Origins of Umbrella and how the company ties into the events of Resident Evil. Bro, okay. A post-credit scene extends the timeline even further, officially taking the series out of our timeline and into the future. Yeah, that man, Ethan. Uh. Wait, when was it? Uh, this came out last year? She's definitely Ew, something just moved on her hand. Something just moved on her hand. The main story of Village, Shadows of Rose progresses the Resident Evil timeline further than any game before it. Assuming the events of Village take place in 2021, Shadows of Rose brings the franchise into the near future of 2037. The three to four hour DLC stars Ethan's daughter Rose, who attempts to rid herself of the unwanted powers inherited from her father. Oh my god. Dang, she just wanna be normal. Nah, that's not what Nora that feels like. You see that jam coming out Resident that Evil coming out the sidewalk? So nah, that's sure not what Nora feels review, like. The Resident Evil 4 remake, and for more zombie apocalypse goodness, keep it spooky right here on IGN. Alright man, shout out to IGN for the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video if you guys enjoyed my reaction. And uh comment yeah, comment down below if you guys like Resident Evil um 4 remake. If you guys didn't, um just say as you didn't. And um yeah, I'll see you later for the next one. I'm out and